My name is Diane Green. I'm a props artisan here at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. And this season, 2016, uh, one of my assignments was to build a boat for the River Bride. It was directed by Lori Woolery and designed by Mariana Sanchez. Um, so here you can see the drawing that I was given. Mariana essentially wanted something that kind of looked like a dugout canoe. Uh, so she made me a nice drawing, but what really helped me was her finding this research photo. There wasn't really a way to build that out of wood in the time frame that we have. So the way we chose to go about it was to carve styrofoam, which is something we do a lot. One of the considerations for the boat is that it had to move across the stage. So I also had to think of how that was going to happen. So the automation department had a little motor with some wheels. So to begin with, what needed to happen was for the actors to have a rehearsal boat that they could play with on stage, get the feel of, see what was going to work or not work, how long did it really need to be, what kind of steering mechanism was going to work for them. So I carved the styrofoam using a variety of techniques. We have a hot wire. Um, I have a big wire wheel that I just grind the foam away and it makes a huge mess. Did some sanding, and then when I get it to roughly where I want it, I take it into the spray booth, resin and fiberglass it to make it really strong, because even though it moves very slowly across the stage and the actor who's doing the driving has done a really great job, it still has to land at a dock, and I want to make sure it doesn't get damaged, so I wanted it to have a really hard shell. That also really helps the painters be able to apply their processes to make it actually really look like a dugout canoe, which they always do a fantastic job. They really make things magical. The motor setup that Automation rigged up for it has an attachment to a little joystick that sits right next to the actor. So as he's driving across the stage, he's just operating a little joystick. And he also has his foot on a kill switch. So he's got to keep his foot on that switch the whole time they're moving. It's just a little extra safety precaution. It was a multi-step process um, that I think worked out pretty well in the end. I, I did get to go see the play a couple of weeks ago, and, and it looked really nice on stage. I was pretty proud of what I'd done. <laughs> okay, I could go on and on about that.